especially as South Asians, right? Because we're supposed to be doctors and social yeah. engineers, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there, Shabani and Chaya. How are you doing today? We're doing great. <laughs> Wonderful. Here. Wonderful. Well, welcome to my virtual red carpet here at the Streamy Awards 2020 in the midst of a pandemic. Okay, we are doing the best that we can here. What does it feel like to be nominated for a stream? Oh, gosh. Oh, surreal. So surreal. So surreal, especially to be nominated with um, our favorite choreographers and dancers. Mm. Matt was actually one of my teachers. So it's just, it feels and amazing. Inspirations behind what we do. Yeah. So, yeah, we're, we're very excited to be here and excited to be representing um, South Asian dance on the main stage. So, mm -hmm. you know what? I live for anything about representation and visibility. It is so important. And we acknowledge all that you do. And we're so appreciative of the work that you're doing. Tell us a little bit about B Funk. Yes, so B Funk is a dance class that is hosted in LA and we started to upload our class videos onto YouTube three or four years ago okay. and about three and a half years ago. And then we started to travel around the world and take Bunger Funk and Bali Funk and bring them to places like London, Australia, um, all over the nation, Canada, we took it to everybody that was open and willing to learn about South Asian styles of dance. And from that, B Funk was born and it was created out of friendship. So, yeah, it's, yeah. it's basically a mixture of our um, Western upbringing and our Eastern roots. So it's like a fusion between jazz, funk, and hip hop, and then different South Asian styles of dance called yeah. Bollywood and Bhangra. So it's just um, basically an expression of our hybrid identities. <laughs> Beautiful. Now, do, how did you two meet? And is dance something that you've always done your entire life? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So we've both been dancing since we were 10. Shivani grew up in Detroit, Michigan. I grew up in Dallas, right. Texas. And okay. we kind of started dancing from a young age, doing classical Indian dancing. And then mm -hmm. when we went to college, we started doing competitive dancing, Bollywood and Ross. And then when we came out here, we were both pursuing entertainment. So I was working at Warner Brothers. Shivani was pursuing acting and mm -hmm. is still pursuing acting. Yeah. And we just met super serendipitously at this Mexican restaurant um, in Glendale. It was really, really yeah. random. <laughs> We were just there with some friends. Uh, yeah, I was there with my friend. She, you know, rolled up to the bar with like five of her friends selling a, celebrating a birthday. And then I was like, they pulled out their Texas IDs. I was like, oh my God, I love Texas. I competed there in dance. And then it turns out that we had dance in common. We exchanged numbers. And ever since then, we've been dancing together. Now we live together. We're business partners. We're best friends. We do everything together. So, yeah. <laughs> Oh, wow, I absolutely love that. So during the pandemic, I'm sure probably you've seen a spike in subscribers because now people are working out from home and being able to dance from home as well. So how did you adapt really to, you know, the new situation that we're currently in? Yeah, you know, we had been working on an online tutorials platform before um, quarantine. And so when quarantine hit, we just were like, okay, well, this is more of an excuse for us to roll this out quicker. So we have been teaching from our tutorials platform. And then we've also just tried to try to find ways to pivot with our content, just because, you know, we try to condense our content to short form a little bit more and try to, you know, reach out to our users in a way that we hadn't before. We were used to more long form content on YouTube. So we're just playing now because we're seeing like the demand is different for the types of content that people are asking for. Mm -hmm. um, so we're just kind of like musing and adapting to the times. Yeah. That is amazing. So tell me, what does it mean, especially with, you know, talking about representation and visibility, what does it mean, aside from a trophy, what does it mean to be nominated for the stream? It means that culture matters, especially when we were growing up. I know that there are a lot of the dance, like Ditto, we've been following Ditto, Matt, all these guys, we've been following them for years. And now seeing South Asian styles of dance at the forefront of music, culture, dance, and that it even matters. It makes you feel like you matter. It doesn't matter where you come from. It doesn't matter what your style is that you're bringing to the table. You are so uniquely and unapologetically you. And that's all that it takes is just you being you and your history of your dance and understanding. I think we say it all the time, but 
our moms used to play bhangra music when we were growing up. So it was like before even we listened to NSYNC and Backstreet Boys, it was like we were listening to that style of music. And then when we fuse it with that 90s hip hop, 90s Bollywood, we were able to become a hybrid identity and be so proud of both cultures. So it, it is so much more than a trophy. It just means and it reminds us that we matter however we are and we don't have to be something else we can just be unapologetically ourselves yeah and also with bollywood dancers like you know i think there's this kind of a stigma that bollywood dance is not a professional style of dance it's not a professional uh discipline and it's not a mm -hmm. discipline of dance it's a style of dance it's it's literally originates from the bollywood cinema industry so it's more about the music the bollywood music and then the movement that you pair with it can be anything it can just yeah, whatever can speaks anything. to you it can be latin it can be hip-hop it can be jazz funk it can be whatever you want so to kind of like legitimize that style or what we call Bollywood, we call Bollywood, not a style, not a discipline, we call Bollywood a feeling. feeling. Yeah. And so to kind of legitimize that feeling to what we call the masses just makes us feel like, okay, there are other people that feel this way, that want to express themselves yes. this way. And it just makes us feel like we're not alone. So that's and, what's incredible. Yeah. And that's why we love YouTube so much is we had no idea that our passion for dance could be shared among so many people. We just had no idea and that it could reach globally. And after we, you know, graduated from college, we just had this feeling inside of us that was like, we weren't ready to let dance go. And we were like, we can't be the only people that feel this way. Mm -hmm. So, and then a million people later we realized oh my god this is amazing oh, we yeah. have so many people to connect with and yeah. wow well honestly i am i am so proud of you i think the work that you are doing is absolutely amazing i think you are allowing for so many young boys and girls and children around the world to be seen i applaud you i think that alone is a trophy in itself i think you have already won and i wish you the best of luck in your nomination tonight at the streamies okay Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. Of course, happy holidays. Happy holidays.